My name is Michael Mallon. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm the president of the Lesbian and Gay Democratic Club of Queens. Uh, some of my uh, board members are here, and I wanted to thank you for representing the organization. Um, so this is what I do by night. By day, uh, I am proud to work for New York City Council Member Daniel Drum, uh, the chair of the Education Committee for the Council. Um, through his work, first as immigration chair for the council and now through education, he's done so much for uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer immigrants. Uh, the work, he focuses on the intersectionality of, of, you know, of being, being an LGBT person, being a low-income person, being an, an immigrant, and I think that um, it's something that we need to see more of in, in government. Uh, but you know what, uh, without further ado, uh, I'll have him come speak. Uh, again, please uh, give a round of applause for New York City Council Member Daniel Drum. It's a really great pleasure to be here. And I want to thank uh, Mohammed for convening this and um, to say that you're a real power of example uh, to all of us in the community. And since I met you, I knew that you were going to be able to pull this together. And so uh, we are very proud to to have you and also to have had you at a number of our Lesbian and Gay Democratic Club meetings in Queens. And uh, I applaud you very, very much. I want to also applaud all of the panelists, the filmmaker, Micah, um, Maurice, uh, everybody who has had something to do with this event here today. Uh, this is very, very empowering. As any activist will tell you, visibility is key to the success of the LGBT movement. It's so important for us to live our lives out in the open. For some people, it's easy to discriminate against nameless, faceless individuals. But everything changes when that gay guy is your son or that trans woman is your daughter. Coming out does not solve everything. We all know people who have been kicked out of their homes for being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. But by coming out and letting the world know that we are your family, we are your friends, and we are your neighbors, we force them to acknowledge and to listen to us. This is the first step, a huge step, towards equality and justice. LGBT undocumented Caribbeans face greater and in some ways unique challenges. Having shared a common experience and cultural background, immigrant communities are especially close-knit. Its members are often physically, emotionally, and financially dependent on one another. These support structures help immigrants cope with the tremendous burden of living a life out of status. Because of religious and cultural op opposition, coming out in these communities usually strains these important relationships to the breaking point. It's hard enough to be an immigrant struggling with poverty and a different culture. Now, as an LGBTQ person, you face abandonment and marginalization. That's why the Caribbean Equality Project is so vitally important. You have filled that void and have created a safe space where LGBTQ people of Caribbean experience can support one another. You have established a network and can direct members of the community to culturally competent services, which by the way, I intend to work with the city council to continue to support and to fund in the future. <laughs> LGBTQ undocumented Caribbean immigrants need access to immigration attorneys, to doctors and to mental health professionals who can meet their particular needs. I want to give a special shout out to the My Truth, My Story multimedia storytelling campaign where LGBTQ people of Caribbean heritage come out about their personal experiences, struggles, and achievements. Your inaugural campaign will do much to empower and liberate members of the community, and I commend you for that. I am so excited that Queens and the city now has an LGBTQ Caribbean-led service provider for LGBTQ Caribbean people. Folks, I've waited years to see this happen, as I'm sure all of you in this room have as well. Without further ado, I proudly endorse the Caribbean Equality Project at today's launch and pledge, and pledge my support to you to the best of my ability and the support of the New York City Council. Thank you very much.